Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a good day. I have the perfect tip for you today. The two criteria for a perfect tip are one, it has to be super easy to implement and two, it has to save you a lot of time. And this tip is going to do both. So let's get started. This is all about um, using materials. So let's add a noise uh, to our color channel. So I'm dropping in noise. Now, a lot of the times I'll take this noise and I'll put it into my bump channel or uh, one of these other channels and I'll want them to have the same parameters. But if I go into our color channel and I change the scale to something else, I also have to go into the bump to change it because it still has the settings that we had originally. And here's where this tip comes in. Super easy, but it's gonna save you a lot of time. All you have to do is go to that texture slot, right click on it, and then click expressions and set driver. And this is gonna make this texture slot the driver. So anything you change in here will affect whatever you set as driven. So we're gonna to go to our bump channel and we're gonna right click on texture, go to expressions and set driven. And you can see up in your right hand corner, it made a little expression null here. So these two are now linked together. Now check this out, if we go into our color and we even change the different type of noise to say fire. Now if we go back to our bump, you can see that it automatically updated. And the same thing with all these parameters in here, if we change the global scale or anything in here, it's gonna update automatically in that bump. Um, this can be used with anything in here. This can be used with um, all these different filters, can be used with tiles, with pretty much everything in here. Another thing we can do is, let's just load an image into this slot. So say that we have a player and we'll drag this player in and we also want him to be on the alpha channel because it's a cutout. So let's turn on our alpha channel. So then if we have a plane, we can have our player on here. Um, now what we're gonna do is right click on that texture, go to set driver, go to that alpha channel, right click and go to set driven. And now these two are linked together. That way if we have a bunch of these different cutouts, all we have to do is load up a different image onto um, this slot here and the alpha channel is automatically going to update. So these two are linked together and it'll save a lot of time. I hope that helps you guys out. Thank you as always for checking out the Pixel Lab. You guys rock and we'll talk to you next time.